Hello friends, welcome to Mahindra Guru, the Brahmas for success. We hope that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. We hope that you have liked our every page and to follow us on Instagram is your birthright. Hence, do all of these because all of these are extremely beneficial for you if you use them in the right way. And hey, welcome to our today's session of visual vocabulary for smart students. Let's have a look at the previous vocab challenge that we gave you in the previous session. Well, here's the vocab challenge. The word was ebullient. Being an adjective, it meant extremely lively or enthusiastic. In Hindi, it's utsahit. We asked you, what's the missing synonym and antonym over here? The answer along with the vocab champions are, well, they are right here. The correct synonym was buoyant and the correct antonym is depressed. Well, we have got the vocab champions with us. They are Miss Chandrika Padvi, Mr. Abhishek Kumar and Mr. Sarat Chandra. It's also called, the synonym is also called buoyant and in Indian English it can be buoyant. So, and then autonomous depressed itself. So, they are the vocab champions. Once again, Ms. Chandrika Padvi, Mr. Vishay Kumar, Mr. Sarat Chandra, you can say that uh, all of them are almost fresh faces. So, we welcome them as the vocab champions and also congratulate them from all of us here at Mahindra Guru. Let's have a look at the first word of the day. See, here's the first word. It's squinch. Now, squinch is a verb and it means spring. We have also given the Hindi meaning of every word. So, if you want to have a look, you can definitely have a look. The synonyms are bolt or dart. The synonyms are bolt or dart. The antonyms are finish or stop. The antonyms are finish or stop. Well, uh, you can see a superb tennis player over here giving a return. And with regards to him, we have given this sentence. He, that is this tennis player, blank space while returning a shot. He blank space while returning a shot. I suppose many of you play uh, Virtua Tennis or some other uh, games of tennis and it's really important that where your uh, joystick or your mouse goes because that's in that way, using that in correct way, you can definitely get a very good return. So, by the way, what do you think over here? What's the word in question? It's squinch. Hence, the sentence will become, he squinches while returning a shot means by returning a shot he has a habit of jumping and then hitting it so he squinches while returning a shot let's have a look at the next word see here's the next word for you it's discard now discard being a verb it means get rid of so discard being a verb means get rid of the synonyms are dispose of or throw out the synonyms are dispose of or throw out well the antonyms are keep or acquire the antonyms are keep means just keep it, don't dispose it of or acquire that is in the sense of gaining something. Well, you can see uh, an enthusiastic uh, tennis player over here and with regards to him, we have given this blank spiller and that is he, this particular player, he blank space his opponent from the tournament after winning the knockout match. Well, you definitely know the secret about the knockout match. In fact, not the secret, it's an open secret. That is that whenever somebody loses a knockout match, he just, uh, he gets discarded from the tournament. So that's what we have said over here. He, that is this tennis player, blank space his opponent from the tournament after winning the knockout match. Now, what's the word in question? It's discard. Hence, the sentence will become, he discarded his opponent from the tournament after winning the knockout match. Let's have a look at the next word. See, here's the next word for you. Now, it's emphasize. Emphasize being a verb means focus and attention on. So, emphasize being a verb means focus attention on. The synonyms are blabber or accentuate. The synonyms are blabber or accentuate. The antonyms are understate or play down. The antonyms are understate or play down. Well, you can see a really uh, nice parrot over here who is doing a superb, who is performing a superb balancing act during the tennis ball. And with regard to it, we have in this sentence, the parrot blank space maintaining its balance. So, if you just look at the parrot, you see that it's actually putting a lot of attention, it's focusing a lot of attention on maintaining its balance. And that's why we have given this filler, the parrot blank space maintaining its balance. Now, what's the word in question? It's emphasized. Hence, the sentence will become the parrot emphasizing, the parrot, you can say the parrot emphasize rather, the parrot emphasizes maintaining its balance. So, actually, you can say that he's in a habit of doing this, so that's present definite. The parrot emphasizes maintaining its balance. Let's have a look at the next one. 
Now, here's the next word for you. See, it's an incompetence. Now, incompetence is a noun and it means inability to do something successfully. So, incompetence is a noun and it means inability to do something successfully that many of the other channels try to do actually, but they are not able to do it because that's they are incompetent that they can't copy us. The synonyms are ineffectiveness or inadequacy. The synonyms are ineffectiveness or inadequacy. The antonyms are competence or prowess. So, the antonyms are competence or prowess. Now, here's an image for you. Once again, a superb image of a basketball player, of a superb basketball player. In fact, he's actually doing a superb basket as well. And with regards to him, we have given this blank space filler. Oh no, actually, it's, regard, it's with regards to him and also the opponents who are trying to stop him. And the sentence is, the blank space of his opponents can be clearly seen. The blank space of his opponents can be clearly seen. So you can see his opponents who are actually helpless and they can't really do anything from stopping him scoring that basket. So what do you think? What's the word in question? It's incompetence. In the same way, hence the sentence will become the incompetence of his opponents can be clearly seen. And that's why in fact the incompetence of our many other channels can also be seen in their copy pasting failure. Let's have a look at the next one. See, here's the next one, it's stimulation. Now, stimulation is a noun here, it means provocation. So, stimulation is a noun, it means provocation. The synonyms are stimulant or incitement. The synonyms are stimulant or incitement. The antonyms are discouragement or dismay. The antonyms are discouragement or dismay. Now, before we go to that filler, have you liked this video, my dear? Come on, like it, because that's gonna boost up. It will boost us up. So, now let's have a look at the filler. It is the dog's blank space is being ignored by the cat. Now, if you have a look over here, the dog is wagging its tail and its tail is constantly hitting the cat's head. However, and it's actually he's trying to provoke the cat over here, but the cat is not reacting. Let's see for how long the cat doesn't react. The dog's blank space is being ignored by the cat. Now, what's the word in question? It's stimulation. Hence, the sentence will become... The dog's stimulation is being ignored by the cat. Let's have a look at the next word. See, here's the next word for you. Uh, now it's rigmarole. See, rigmarole is a noun and it means an elaborate or complicated procedure. So rigmarole being a noun means an elaborate or complicated procedure. The synonyms are incoherent or poppycock. The synonyms are incoherent or poppycock. Now the antonyms are possessions or sense. The antonyms are possessions or sense. Well, as you can see, a really confused Daffy Duck over here and with regards to it we have given this uh, blank space filler that is the blank space puzzled him now we're talking about an elaborate or complicated procedure over here so what's the word in question it's rigmarole hence the sentence will become the rigmarole puzzled him let's have a look at the next one see here's the next one for you now it's cajole see cajole being a verb means to coax by using flattery so Cajole being a verb means to coax by using flattery. The synonyms are blandish or beguile. The synonyms are blandish or beguile. If you remember, we had done a word of, a, or rather you can say we have done, in fact, uh, we studied the word blandishment a couple of days ago. So, the synonyms are over here, blandish or beguile. The antonyms are dissuade or discourage. The antonyms are dissuade or discourage. And, well, here's a blank space filler for you. And it's really interesting one. So, you should see this thesis for sure. In order to blank space their bosses, some employees take care of the other factors. That is, now what we're going to say over here is, to coax their bosses, some employees even send the bills, take care of the bills of their bosses, take care of the emails of their bosses, write letters on behalf of their bosses and even make phone calls on their behalf of their bosses. So that's what some employees do trying to impress their boss or you can say trying to flatter their boss. So what's the word in question? It's cajole. Hence the sentence will become in order to cajole their bosses, some employees take care of the other factors. Well, let's have a look at the next one. Now here's the next one for you. See, it's chiaroscuro. Now chiaroscuro is an adjective that means dark and covered. So, chiaroscuro is an adjective that means dark and covered. The synonyms are shaded or shadowy. The synonyms are shaded or shadowy. The antonyms are clear or bright. The antonyms are clear or bright. Now, a superb scenario has been given here for you. See, this is that kind of scenario that you can only see if you are surfing or 
if you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and that's where you can see this video. See, this is a very rare video that only surfers can see with their naked eyes. Now, you are lucky enough because you have subscribed to our channel, that's why you can see this thing. Now, this is the blank space scene that a surfer can see while surfing. So, only surfers can see this scene except you, by the way. So, what do you think? What's the word that should be used in the blank space? It should be chiaroscuro. Hence, this sentence will become, this is the chiaroscuro scene that a surfer can see while surfing. Let's have a look at the next word. See, here's the next word for you and it's opalescent. Now, opalescent being an adjective means prismatic. So, opalescent being an adjective means prismatic. The synonyms are bright or purely. The synonyms are bright or purely. The antonyms are dull or insipid. The antonyms are dull or insipid. Now, here's an image for you and with regards to it, we have given this blank space pillar. The blank space diamonds are extremely attractive. So, as you can see, they are actually acting on the Vib Your concept. So, the blank space diamonds are extremely attractive, in fact. So, what do you think? What's the word in question here? It's opalescent. Hence, the sentence will become, the blank space diamonds are extremely attractive. Let's have a look at the last word. Okay, now, here's the last word for you. It's, see, it's panjeric. Now, panjeric is an adjective that means laudatory. So, panjeric being, being an adjective means laudatory. The synonyms are acclamatory or praising. The synonyms are acclamatory or praising. And you can also say acclamatory. Well, it's acclamatory as well. Now, the antonyms are defamatory or defamatory, as somebody would put it, and derogatory or derogatory. <laughs> as some, except what do you say, some self uh, induced Britishers would say it, despite being Indian or now you can see the sentence over here, the blank space filler that we have given with regards to this image and that is the actor was awarded for his blank space acting. Now what's the word in question? It's panjeric. Hence the sentence will become the actor was awarded for his panjeric acting. Now let's move forward. Let's move forward to the next slide and go towards the uh, today's vocab challenge. See here's the vocab challenge today. The word is dissension. Being a noun, it means disagreement that leads to discord. In Hindi, it's madbhed. The given synonym is controversy. The given antonym is agreement. Now, we want to ask you what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym over here that we asked you in the, that we told you in the previous session of visual vocabulary. So, if you can answer them correctly and be one of the first ones to answer it correctly, you can definitely become a vocab champion in the next session. And well, uh, if you have a look, you can see the duck season, rabbit season controversy or you can say the duck season, rabbit season dissension is still going on by the way. And actually it's already given their dissension led to a long argument and still going on. Let's see how long this go on as well. And that was all in our today's session of visual vocabulary. Thanks a lot for watching us, watching us and please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel for more and more videos. Do like our FB page if you haven't done it so far and hey, Following us on Instagram is your birthright. And if you have downloaded our app, it's really cool. If you haven't done it, downloaded it yet, you are missing out what is really cool. So do download it and you can download the Mahindra Guru app from both Google Play Store and also the Windows Store. Your success is our success. Thank you.